Concerns tonight over standardized testing in Rhode Island. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Testing for the RICAS and SATs started this week. And in order to take those tests, the Department of Education is requiring that all students go into their school, even those students who are learning virtually. For some students with underlying health conditions, this was worrisome. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a student with cystic fibrosis about her concerns going into school and experience with taking the test. Well, despite the challenges the pandemic brought for students, the federal government mandated states implement standardized testing in schools. For Rhode Island, that means virtual learners, even those with health conditions, need to go to school to participate in state testing. The coronavirus pandemic has caused Bella Schweinier to attend school virtually. Because she has cystic fibrosis, getting COVID-19 could be a matter of life or death. Taking the SATs was a must as Bella prepares for college, but she learned she'd have to go to school in order to take it. Me and my mom are both really hoping we could take it from home or we could postpone it or something. Bella is a junior at the Beacon Charter High School in Woonsocket. She said the school eased her worries and accommodated her by keeping her separate from the other students. And I was also placed in a room by myself with just one teacher, so it was a one-on-one. -on -one where other kids were placed like two or three in a room together. Other states have tried to postpone standardized tests this year, but the Rhode Island Education Commissioner believes they are necessary. This is not about accountability. This is about individual students and getting data and being able to measure what the impact has been for the state of Rhode Island. Commissioner Infante Green said schools took precautions for returning students to participate in standardized testing, just like Beacon Charter High School did for Bella. We have made sure that our spaces are safe. There is a health waiver for students who do not want to take the test, and Fonte Green says there are no repercussions for those who opt out. Now, standardized testing in Rhode Island began this week for schools and runs until May. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.